Benjamin Affleck is officially done with the DCU. He made some interesting comments this week, so let's take a deep dive into those comments he made about the DCU and James Gunn. Hey guys, I'm Carl. Welcome back to my movie film show. Feel free to subscribe down below if you haven't been here before already. We're here today to talk about Ben Affleck's comments which have come out just this week about his involvement in the DCEU and what he won't be involved in James Gunn's DCU going forward. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Affleck revealed that he has no interest in directing any DC projects, including those under James Gunn's leadership or the DC Elseworld projects. He said that while he personally doesn't have anything against Gunn, he doesn't want to work in the way that they're working at the moment. Affleck further went on to explain his negative experiences with the DCEU, in particular with shooting the Justice League. He even said it was the worst experience he's had in the entire film industry and it broke his heart making that movie. The situation got so dire he began drinking too much and even had suicidal thoughts. He then went on to explain he actually was going to direct a Batman movie, but his experience with the Justice League completely put him off doing so. Despite this, Ben Affleck is still going to be appearing in the Flash movie, which comes out in the summer. And it looks pretty good from the trailer, even though weirdly Ezra Miller is still in that role. That's a whole other subject for another day but it now confirms that Ben Affleck is out of the DCU, Henry Cavill is out of DCU, Dwayne Rock Johnson is out of DCU, Jason Momoa is still up in the air, Gal Gadot is still up in the air, Ezra Miller weirdly as I mentioned is still in the role despite all the controversy around him which doesn't make any sense that he's the one you would stick by and keep in the movie. I suspect he's going to change in the Flash movie like something might happen where his DNA gets fecked up and he's a different actor all of a sudden. Ben Affleck will be back with another movie shortly called Air about Nike or Nike how do you say it? A lot of people say it differently around the world. Some say Nike like bike. Some say Nike because that's the way you're supposed to say it. But that Ben Affleck directed movie is coming to theaters in April. It's about the launch of the Air Jordan shoe, which how much of a story they can gather out of that? We'll wait and see. It's going to hit Amazon Prime later in the year as well. As for the DCU, James Gunn confirmed this week that he's going to be directing Superman Legacy, which isn't too much of a shock because he already admitted he was writing it. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time doing it. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. So it's not too much of a surprise James Gunn is going to direct that. Who's going to direct the other DCU projects they've lined up is yet to be confirmed. James Mangold has been linked to the Swamp Thing, which could be fantastic. But other than that, they're still looking for directors for projects such as Supergirl and The Authority and all those really cool projects they announced a few weeks back. If you haven't heard about those projects, I've got a whole video about it right over here to check out with all that information. There's another video to check out right over here if you've already seen that one. With all that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.